Hello friends, welcome to Inside Psyche Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the topic Human Development Report. In this particular topic, following are the video contents. That means these are the learning objectives. In this video, we mainly focus on first context. Why we are discussing now? Obviously, you know that we are discussing because the index recently been released. Then we will discuss about Human Development Index. That means who developed. And this index is based on what parameters? You know that every index is obviously will measure certain parameters. So we will discuss this index is based on which parameters and background of this. Then HDA 2022 overall trends we will discuss. And finally, we will also discuss about how the India performance is in this HDA index. That means especially after liberalization. That means since 1990s, how India is faring how India is performing in this particular index across various parameters. And finally, we will compare our country's progress with other Asian countries. So these are the learning objectives. Okay, first context, India's human development index ranking improved. Of course, this is a good news. And now India climbed to 134th position. Okay, of course, we will discuss previously in which position also. And our neighboring countries like Bangladesh 129. Sri Lanka 79, Bhutan 125 and China 75. These are the positions of our neighborhood countries. And in India's HDA value, Human Development Index value also increased to 0.644 in 2024. Okay. So with this rank, we placed our country in 134 out of 193 countries with, an, with a value of 0.644. Now let's see. Now let's see some of the basic concepts behind this particular index first you know students a country's growth can be measured in two ways a particular country's growth can be measured in two ways growth in terms of their economy okay that means growth in terms of production of goods and services that will be measured in the form of economic growth economic growth okay whereas if we measure development in terms of education and development in terms of quality of life quality of life and development in terms of the purchasing power parity so if you consider these kind of overall that means holistic area of development then that is known as economic development economic development okay economic development so here Economic growth is best reflected by GDP numbers, GDP numbers, whereas economic development, which is similarly known as human development, human development can be best described by available index that is HDI, okay, human development index. It is the best available index which can describe about human development. So obviously, HDA will track certain parameters which are related to human development. Now let's see which factors are going to be considered under HDA. HDA mainly builds around so various indexes, sub indexes such as life expectancy index, education index and gross national index, gross national income index. These three indexes, okay, these three indexes are indicating one is life expectancy at birth, expected years of schooling and mean years of schooling and GNI per capita. So based on per capita purchasing power parity index. So these okay, these indexes will express the dimensions of long and healthy life, knowledge and the decent standard of living. So these dimensions will be expressed through these indexes and these indexes together they will give a detailed picture of human development in the form of the HDA reports. HDA report human development report now let's see so this human development report so who publishes normally in examination point of view not only you have to know a great knowledge about the index you should also know that who are publishing the trip index okay apart from India ranking this index is publishing by United Nations Development Program UNDP and the name of the report is breaking the gridlock reimagining cooperation in a polarized world so why we are using the word polarized world? Now you are seeing in most of the aspects, world is divided into two parts, like countries supporting USA and countries supporting 
China. In this polarized world, we required cooperation among the countries. Then only we can overcome some of the greater issues which are facing by the human race, such as poverty, hunger, and a lack of education. These kind of discrimination, okay, refugee crisis. These crises can be overcome only through the cooperation among the countries. Tell me, students, which sustainable development goal is promoting the cooperation among the countries? Okay, next. This particular report is built on 21-22 Human Development Report findings. They saw the global HDA value is decreasing for the first time two years in a row. Of course, there is a reason for this also because of the Russia-Ukraine war and crisis around the Red Sea and previously because of the COVID pandemic as well. South Asia's loss mainly in the HDA mainly due to the inequality. Actually, this index is saying that so most I mean most of the inequality present in the region of sub-Saharan region that means south to the Sahara Desert, south to the Sahara Desert and in the South Asia. These are the two regions which are facing the extreme level of inequality according to this particular index. Next, if you look at the history of this particular index, this index first for the first time published in 1990 by UNDP, United Nations Development Program. Then this index measures average achievement of a country in three basic parameters such as health which is measured by life expectancy at birth and this health is mainly related to the sustainable development goal number three okay and goal number two is about the hunger and goal number one is about the poverty knowledge which is measured by expected and mean years of education that means in a particular country so children how many years they are spending in the school based on the mean years of schooling obviously knowledge can be you know like uh, measured of course the quality of schooling has to be measured as well but initially rather than quality first they have to check about the how many years they are spending in the school okay next next is about standard of living you know one more thing here i would like to mention to you to improve the education in india we introduced 86th constitution amendment act 2002 through that right to education was kept as a fundamental right under article 21 a the standard of living standard of living will be measured by per capita gross national income so this economic growth is related to sustainable development goal number 8.5 so this the main index of all these parameters about how to improve human life in a more better way that is the main so end goal background this particular index is prepared by pakistani economist mahbub ul haq okay so as a part of the measuring of human development and this is being released by UNDP already we mentioned along with the HDA HD human development report is also presents the multidimensional poverty index and the human development index which one is so far we discussed gender inequality index and gender development index now let's see multidimensional poverty index actually recently Niti Aayog claimed that in India significant amount of the population they came out of the multidimensional poverty index now tell me According to Niti Aayog report, which state is having highest amount of the people under multidimensional poverty index? Okay, so under multidimensional poverty index. Now let's see. Under multidimensional poverty index, mainly health, education, and standard of living will be measured. While these parameters are getting measured, certain sub parameters okay, will be taken into consideration. They are, and you have to know the weightage of those parameters as well. For example, while measuring the health, both the nutrition and child mortality will be checked and for nutrition 1 by 6 weightage is given and for child mortality 1 by 6 weightage is given and for education, while measuring the education, two parameters will be checked, years of schooling and school attendance. For these two parameters, okay, 1 by 6 and 1 by 6 weightage is given and for standard of living, cooking fuel, sanitation, drinking water, electricity, housing and assets. These six parameters will be considered and all these six parameters, each and every parameter, okay, they given a weightage of 1 by 18. So in this way, this particular multidimensional poverty index, it tries to gaze around so many parameters and it will decide whether the people are under multidimensional poverty or not. Then we will discuss about, then we will discuss about, so this HDA or multidimensional poverty index most of these indexes they took the you know like uh, the 
the, the idea of Amartya Sen's capabilities approach to understand the human well-being. What is this capability approach? This capabilities approach is all about our end goal for any country. The end goal is what? The end goal is the decent standard of living. And through to achieve that end goal, what, uh, what are the various means? One of the, may, very, one of the mean is income per, income per capita or per capita income. So, countries should concentrate on the end goals rather than the mean. That means, we should not judge countries based on their per capita income. Rather than that, we should judge based on the decent standard of living. That means, we have to give import emphasis to the end goal. This is the idea of the Amartya Sen and especially HDI. It reflects the idea of Amartya Sen. Next, HDI 2022 overall trends. If you look at the overall trends, India previously 135, now it reached to 134. And the gender equality inequality index, India has been ranked at 108. Previous score, okay, previous score 122. Compared to 122, now 108, we improved around 14 ranks. It's a good in terms of women's reproductive health rights, empowerment and labor market. But one of the unfortunate rate, uh, thing is, still women's uh, labor participation is very less. What is this labor participation? Labor participation is out of the capable persons of both men and women. So how much percentage of the people they are participating in the work? If you look at here, so around 47.8 percentage difference between the men and women. If women labor participation rate is around 28.3 percentage, men percentage is around 76.1 percentage. So the gap between the men and women, it is around 48 percentage. Next, India's growth since independence. Since 1990, India's life expectancy raised by around 9.1 years. Okay, that means it is significant. That means in 1990s, if average uh, age of the India, average life expectancy of Indian is around 60 years, now it improved to 69 point year. Of course, this might be mainly due to the improved health care. But still, still in the health care system, we improved, but still it is facing some challenges. Because only, I mean, the affordability of the health care is one, of, one matter and still the palliative health care, the health care which is supposed to be uh, offered at old age people, it has to be improved a lot. That means the quality has to be improved a lot. The expected years of schooling, increased by 4.6 years mean years of schooling have grown by 3.8 years india gni per capita have grown by approximately 300 percent c how significantly the gross national income is improved that is the reason in india the quality of life of so many people has improved if you look at here how many uh, how many uh, families are owning their own car and uh, are there how many of the families are sending their schools to the decent to and good quality schools Quality of life improved certainly very well compared to last 10 to 15 years, but still long way to go. So many people still they are suffering from poverty. Now we'll see yesterday's video question. If parliament enacts a law that threatens the fundamental rights of an individual, then which of the following articles can be used by Supreme Court to declare that fundamental that while that is a void? Article 13. We know that Article 13 also provides judicial review, especially today's video question. Which three indicators are used in the Human Development Index? Which three indicators? Standard of living, education, life expectancy, conditions of environment. Which three indications are indicators are using? Main question: What is Human Development Index? Evaluate India's overall performance with respect to the indicators constitutions the constitute the HDI. So, evaluate this index this performance indicators in HDI. So, this is the as we reach to the end of this video. So now let's see what we discussed in this video. In this video, we mainly discussed about HDI and how HDI evolved and what are the indexes we mainly focus on HDI. Apart from that, gender inequality index also we have seen. Then various parameters and their weightage in the multi-dimensional poverty index so, and how India is progressed since 1990. This is the detailed analysis regarding the HDI index and India's rank. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.